go over here before we talk to anyone. Woo! Oh, wow! Woo! Woo, Woo is also appropriate. Woo! Wow! Whoa! Wow! 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 Woo! Woo! Hee hee! Shimona! <laughs> I wish I could stop and look at all these books! Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where today we are once again engaging in the master class that is the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. For those of you who missed part one, uh, you need to go back and catch up on everything that you missed, specifically the last, what, like 10 minutes? It yeah. Went, it went on yeah, for a long that, time. Yeah, that outro. Um, the outro, like, I know sometimes people are, like, skipping to the gameplay or skipping to, past the witty banter or whatever. You need to watch the closing of that episode, because, uh, the messages that were conveyed, the conversation points that happened, the morals that were drawn, critical. Yeah, that episode's gonna be assigned in some people's classes. Uh, you know, I, it, it is, it is honestly going to be the definitive de facto text analyzing what is the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Honestly. So, like, if you want to be a part of the changing face of media, the changing awareness of, of morality and culture and ethics, here in 2023, it is a must. It is a must watch. Uh, and, and this series, honestly, is a must watch because what is happening on screen is, is magic. It is something unparalleled. And because it is so deep and so rich and so nuanced and textured, uh, last time we only managed to get to like the title sequence, so you know that was that was it was about like five minutes of total gameplay, but like man, it felt like an hour. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> anyway, today we're here to uh, play the rest of the game, and that is what the goal is. Yep. So you know, without any further ado, let's just hop in and and immerse ourselves, drown into the deep pool that is murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, last time, all you missed is that they're on a train. Uh, they are engaging in a murder mystery party, and Sonic may or may not be dying. Here we go! Uh, Manny Pay, whoa, look at this place! Uh, Amy, Amy, are you here? Oh, yeah, I looked you, around! Remember your tails. I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just, just a question, really. Uh, how do I put this? What if Sonic, uh, is actually hurt? What if Sonic beefed it? What if, what if, what if, <laughs> what if Sonic be dead, though? Is this dead? <laughs> is this dead? <laughs> He's <laughs> laughing? <laughs> Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're all just really committed to the mystery for Amy. Sure. You have nothing to worry about. Promise. Please let Tails be the murderer. And he's just covered. He's like, oh yeah, this is his chance, finally, to get back at Sonic. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. Add that one to the lore book. The, uh, according to the wiki, the Sonic official wiki, he likes to sleep in weird spots. Okay, good, good factoid about Sonic. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Uh, can I tag along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool I tag along with you? No, of course, wow. sure. Now if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Wow. Ha, huh? yeah, here's a guy. We're talking to a guy who has enough time and luxury in his life to buy groceries and cook himself meals every night. Whereas Maddie Patty's like, I've been living off of microwaved meals in the back of this train. Yeah, that's so true. It's, that's yeah. a crucial point of that evidence. Was, that's a crucial point of evidence for what the real mystery here is. <laughs> the real mystery. There's a whole theory in that. I love this. We're going to make this into a theory. Good. Look, even Maddie Patty sees it. He's like, ha. Ah. See, the three ahs there. Or him saying, like, I don't really find this funny. Ah, like, yeah. It's, it's not funny. And with each A, there's, like, a different, like, realization. Ah. Where it's like, ha, ah, being polite. Ah, yeah. uh, that's kind of, like, uh, rude. Yeah. Oh, wow, I'm getting completely taken advantage of. my life, he's being taken advantage of. So, yeah. Wow. Like, like I said, deep, rich, nuanced text. You're starting to see it already. Already. We just started. Yeah, deep, rich. Rich. The, layered. Like, the rich. Nuanced. Yeah. So much nuance here. Please. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks. 
Which I usually am the sidekick, but whatever. Right. So now he's taking his moment in the sun. So I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because... Uh... Where's my lore card? It's the flicky thing. Wait a minute. The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Yeah, that's a uh, flicky. His flicky, flicky friend, yeah. yeah. Not a proper detective without baggage. <laughs> this is true. You varmints. <laughs> what are y'all doing in my saloon? <laughs> He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. Ugh. 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 Enough of that. Wonder how long you kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and- Nope. I got nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something. Maybe the fact that the train literally just crashed. And, like, no one is probably in the mood to party because the train literally just crashed. Yeah. Like, I like that no one is really stopping to question, like, oh, wait, the train literally just crashed. It's true. It's fine. We're all, this is all part of the game. Sure. But why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Maddie Patty, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. All right. Let's interrogate. Oh, trash can. Always the trash can. Something's always hidden in the trash again. Let's check here. Sadly, this one is empty as well. BS! That it's... trash can asset has stuff heeping off the top. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. The rich are gaslighting us. They man. are gaslighting us. I can see it. I know it's there. Right? Also, uh, my theory? You mean my amazing theory? My trash theory! Right? He's gaslighting us. Wow. He said the word. He said the word, Ash. I know. He's using your own terminology against right. you. Here we go. Matty Patty. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Ha <laughs> ha! Because, again, I have to rummage for my goods as opposed to you, which just throw everything away. Yeah, exactly. I think Tails is ignoring me. He doesn't want to listen to no, the truth. No, he doesn't want to listen to the truth. He's scared of the truth. Let's talk to the robot hand. The robotic arms here are really helpful. Beep. 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 What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh-oh. Should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? Wow. See? AI everywhere. It's getting deeper and it's, deeper. It's getting everywhere. Ah, uh, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. Wow. Judgy tales. Yeah. Huh, seems like someone licked all the salt off them. Oh, what? Blah! Duh! Or maybe they're just unsalted. Great. Uh, glasses, I noticed there's lipstick on here. Maddie, oh, that's you. Maddie Patty, this is interesting. What is it? Just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? Maddie Patty, this one has lipstick on the rim. Mmm. That's not Knuckles' color at all! <laughs> Someone else must have been here! <laughs> I wonder what Knuckles' color of lipstick is. That is a style theory. Oh, that'd be great! What, like, let's do makeup makeovers or, like, choose, like, the colors of makeup or whatever for famous, like, characters. Oh my gosh. Oh, that'd I be feel fun. like he would do, like, a, like, a nice, like, deep red. Choose their fits, yeah. Yeah. To match him. But then, but see, it's gonna be too matchy-matchy with the skin. No, no, I'm you saying, You need, like, like, a good pop. Yeah, I'm saying, like, a deep, deep red. Like, mm. dark. Like, we're going, like, oh, deep like, maroon oh, kind yeah. of situation. Okay, yeah. I see. Yeah. I get it. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. What do you think? For Knuckles? Yeah. <laughs> you know... I'm, I'm trying, like, I'm going, like, not green, not yellow, not, like, a blue, mm. not, like, an orange, like, maybe a, a peach. Like a, a little, nice like, a, like a little peach or, like, a tangerine. Mm. I don't know. Well, those, we'll look those, at assets those, of Knuckles afterwards. I was going to say, those nice, kissably soft Knuckles <laughs> lips, you know? Like, the idea of Knuckles having lips in general, because if you look, they all just have lines for their mouths, you know? They have, they have snouts, muzzles, if you will. Yeah. So the idea of any of them having humanoid lips with which to put lipstick on itself is a little bit disturbing to me. Yeah, I can understand that. Right? Like, maybe the question here is, who has lips? We should log this. Used cups, add it to the inventory. Let's do this guy. 
Clearly, we'll, we won't be able to. <laughs> clearly, we won't be able to give the name Super <laughs> Monkey Ball. Yeah, Super right. Monkey Ball. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, that's a blow. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? Damages look more to be caused from punches. I, I understand that Super Monkey Ball is a very punch-worthy game. Let's, oh yeah, let's be honest. It can be infuriating. It's infuriating. Uh, who could have done that? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what are you two looking at me for? Smashed arcade inventory. Okay, added. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. No, I want to look at this guy. Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Oma Chow. Hate to see them like this. <laughs> What'd they do? Medical malpractice. What? <laughs> Interesting. Really? <laughs> That's a twist. Breathtaking views. Ah, look at those buried chains. This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters. Though, I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. Huh, I'll never understand this friend group. You don't have to, and you never will, Ooh. because the money changes the way that your brain works. Wow, look at this. This is like a... Here we go, let's check out over here. Howdy, partners. Spittoon free establishment. Coliseum Highway Zone. Interesting. Okay, oh, loom door. Huh, that's funny. The door is locked right, locked tight. Oh my gosh, I can't read. Matt, I can't read. I, I understand, it's okay. Oh, no. I believe in you. Thank you. The door is locked tight, we can't go any further. You know what, if you need to just improv your way through it, I bet we'll get there. <laughs> you know what? I, I think we I could think, stay pretty think, similar I, to what's- I yeah, I, You know, I don't think the audience will be losing too much. Okay. I wonder how Amy was able to leave then. Good point. When were these doors locked and how long were they locked for? I wonder how she was able to get through this door that was locked, even though it's a saloon door, and so she probably you just slipped right You could just crawl under just it. Just crawl, like literally just like a, a light duck. Or like, if you're like feeling half. overconfident, you could parkour and jump over. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Do, do like a little high jump situation. Right, that's amazing. What are they locked for? We're gonna keep this in mind, okay. Uh, I saw hey. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Oh! I know what y'all are capable oh, of. Oh, they, they're capable of some ups, man. Yeah. Some mad ups. Okay, here we go. Let's interrogate, I guess. <laughs> Medical malpractice, huh? I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. Uh... Knuckles, are you blushing? I, I said leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said leave! Uh, let's... what now? Oh, please don't beat me up. No promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. I bruise easily too, guess. I wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I'd fight you. Sorry, Batty Patty. Wish you luck! Why would... He's not actually gonna fight me, right? <laughs> Weird. I think Knuckles is flirting with you a little bit. I think so too, actually. I think Knuckles has got the hots for me. Yeah. Also, I'm just calling this one out. And again, like this is thinking about Lover Watch, which is has very similar themes or like uh, this idea of like an officially released, you know, dating sim, whatever. Interestingly, once again, our hero protagonist is a little bit like, like they're always awkward and like physically uncomfortable. Yeah. Like when he's like, oh, roller coasters make me nauseous. Or like, oh, I'm so nervous. Around. It's really interesting, again, how there's this repeated pattern of games classifying the player characters, the fans, as these like nerdy, awkward <laughs> people. As opposed, It's, it's eh. I'm noticing a pattern is what I'm saying. Okay, take your order. Hmm, not hungry. Well, if you ever are, let me know, won't you? Sure, like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Maddie Patty, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a but. See, so case, true. Case in so point. True. It just proved my case right there. Uh, yeah, they're not confident. Excellent. Thank you, Butler. And also, this is proven our like rich versus poor metaphor. Like at yeah. first, I we were just memeing on it, and I think we were just going and we were riffing on it. But the more and more I think about this, the more and more it's, it's like, like actually kind of true. It's kind of true. I'm I'm kind of blown away by how realistic this is getting. I thought you were leave. Okay, start an interrogation. Knuckles, Maddie, Patty, and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Yeah? It is? We have evidence, too. We do? Maddie, Patty, just take a good look at our inventory. 
What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? The cups, obviously. A woman? The, the, <laughs> a woman? <laughs> Something with like one large U-shaped <laughs> lip? I believe it might have been Super Monkey Ball. That's going to be my Oh, it could have been Super Monkey yeah. Ball. The menu? <laughs> the chicken cordon bleu? What do I get? <laughs> uh, Super Monkey Ball Arcade. Yeah. Uh, I, right? It's got to be this. It, gamer's Rage. Gamer Rage, right? I mean, Knuckles is strong enough to do it. Right. Unless it was a woman. <laughs> I do like I do like the fact that he was distracted by me. <laughs> the arcade machine? Ha! <laughs> what makes you think I touched it? Think! What would Sonic do? Oh, here we go. I need 30 rings. This is really, like, you know that, um, the Fe um, Phoenix Wright Professor Layton crossover game? Uh-huh. They literally just put, like, Sonic in that, too. You know, Sega's got, you know, there's got to be efficiencies had in, in, in the game design, you know? Yeah, I highly recommend the Professor Layton Phoenix Wright crossover. I've never actually played it, which I've, I've never actually played a Professor uh, Layton game, which I've, I'd like to. At oh, some wow. Point. You would love that. I know. I feel like it's totally up my alley. Yeah. And I've, it's just one of those ones that I've completely missed, unfortunately. Cool. All right. There you go. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because uh, Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game. The arcade cabinet is covered in punches. Covered. Literally covered oh, in punches. there's punches all over oh, the place. Get these punches out of here. Uh, why won't the kids pick up their punches oh, once they're done with the arcade I've machine? I told you kids so many times. You leave your punches lying all around the living room. Making a mess of this place. The things I do for you. <laughs> oh, you just, don't even get me started about your kicks. Your oh. kicks. Oh. All over the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Your hair was found at the scene. I mean, might have been, but we didn't go that hard. <laughs> what evidence do you have? What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? Hmm. Hmm. What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you? I'm on it. Matty Patty, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. <laughs> Bring it on. Wait, what? Think! Think! <laughs> think. I thought I'd like to battle him. Yeah, that'd be fun. I wish I could come up with good ideas oh, this shoot. way. Oh, like, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, no. Okay, so I can't move while I'm in the air? Okay, here. Oh, no. Oh, no! Ah! What happens if I die? What happens? Ah! Ah! Now, Tails, get away from that arcade cabinet. Maddie, Patty, try again! I have to get Super Monkey Ball fixed! Okay, here we go. Can I move one? I, you can... Try again! Oh! This whole time I've been treating it like it's, uh... Like it's, uh... Each time I move, I'm literally going, like, one slot over, but actually, there, it's more... It's got more flow to it than that, which is good to know. Like, each time I've been like, oh, it's just locking me into one of the three, but in actuality, you're just kind of like, there's more than one click to get into full lanes. The arcade machine's fixed! No! Don't look at the scores! Quick, look at the scores! I'm pulling it up now! Oh, man. Vector! By one point! Followed by toast, apple, bread, ultim, <laughs> bagel, and candy. <laughs> All right. Man, the Cooking Companions crossover. Right, exactly. The, the Cooking Companions crossover you didn't know you needed. Yeah. Bread did it the whole time! Okay, what does this tell us? No, nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive! Look at the name at the top of the list! It's Vector! He's supposed to be in the library car! <laughs> the picture is beginning to be painted here! You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score! And Vector beat you! <laughs> And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Proved me he was here. Now, think, think again. He was wearing a very pretty shade of no, lipstick. No, I, right, I, think, I think that's what it is, right? There we go. Oh, yeah. Now that I know that this is like more of a flow. That makes so much more sense. I was like, these they're asking me for like some really quick transitions here. Click, click. Click, click, click. Oh yeah, now I can get like more. In. Also, your dream gear is gorgeous and we need to acknowledge that. 
My what? Your dream gear. Oh, thank you. Yes, right? Isn't it beautiful? It's so I got pretty. The, I got the like uh, dusty sunset version, like, which is great. Amazing taste. Here we go. Now, Maddie Patty, which proves Vector was here with Knuckles? It's this, the cups. No. I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks, playing arcade. Oh, not playing arcade! Oh, they always love to play arcade. It's, I'm, uh, it, it's not like, it's not, I, I wasn't. Ah, uh, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in, honest. I didn't want to get caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups, but what of the cup with the lipstick mark, Vector? Uh, Rouge was in here too. But, uh, her! This one, in case you forgot. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game, and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently? Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Uh, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something and left, and Knuckles destroyed the machine. Yes, that is what we just covered. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our questions. Actually, oh, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Da, da, da. Ah! Ugh. I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Ultim? Patty Patty, can you take a look one more time? Bagel? I would challenge Bagel as a name that doesn't make sense. An odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? I mean, honestly, could be any of them. <laughs> let's let's not beat around the bush here. Nook. Toast, apple, like these are strange. I have a feeling Ultim is the one that they're going for though. <laughs> All the other names have a food theme, but this one, who here goes by Ultim? You may not know Manny Patty, but there is someone here that goes by the title. The ultimate life form. Oh, there's there's really someone here that goes by that. Nothing sneaks by you, does it, Bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. He taught us the game and was the first. It, it, the game is literally you use a control stick to roll a ball. In, like that's it. That's all. <laughs> like it's not hard. My four-year-old knows how to play Super Monkey Ball it's Knuckles. So get good. Get good, fam. He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow Score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Oh. Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it to anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. What about Amy? That's the honest truth. So then Amy came through here not too long ago. Did you open the door for her? No, I, I think she has some, oh, she has that key. She has some sort of key too. That's right, the conductor gave her a special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened at the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. All right. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is in the next car. I'll open it for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. <laughs> I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Maddie Patty. Let's head to the library. On it! This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Maddie Patty! Coming! All right, let's go! Ready to mosey down to the next car? Uh, yes. You got a partner. Onwards! Unless, oh, I should have played Super Monkey Ball, shouldn't I have? Oh. Uh, I wonder if I could have. That would have been smart. The library car! <laughs> I'd love to hang in there. That's just a car. <laughs> a library car! 
Thanks for reading. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. That should be a library ad for a library card. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously, fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espy and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Hmm, Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Have you found any clues? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl? <laughs> ah, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birth. <laughs> She's so sassy! <laughs> the tip is just too juicy to ignore. Uh, I'll see you around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you and quick. But how are you going to leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? Birthday key! It is the birthday girl as the master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. <laughs> yep. I, I love how many times we've really hit this home. Birthday girl. Birthday key. So, oh, hold up. Hold up. Okay, so, so sorry, wait. Sorry. Sorry. Can you can you r roll it back? Oh yeah. So, okay. So there's the the key. Right. The key. But then there's the birthday key. Are, are they the same thing? Are they? Well, we got one key before, but this is the birthday key. Okay, so it is a key, and it's and it goes to... Oh, shoot, I, I, I know I'm going to figure this out. Okay, the birthday key goes to... Who again? Um, the the girl, but not just... No, there's, like, an, uh, two Conductor? other girls. Conductor girl? No, no. Oh, okay. um, um, oh, oh, it's it's like a... Easter it, girl. It, it's like, it's a holiday, it's something, it's it's, it's some April important April Fool's day. girl. The April Fool's girl, that's, that's a good one. That sounds close. Right, yeah. Um, the, uh... Um, birthday? Is it? Birthday. Bir birthday girl gets the birthday... What? Birthday girl gets the birthday key! Oh, oh, what was I? Of course, of course. Oh, Matt. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, that was so silly of They're me. They're going to grill you alive. Oh, my gosh. Whew, thank goodness we made that connection. Yeah, I mean, I'm, before the embarrassment was too much no, to No, I'm, I'm surprised it took me this long to really understand the connection. Yeah, I, I'm surprised, too. Well, I'm, ho hopefully the game, you know, now that I understand it, doesn't feel the need to remind me of this again. Yeah. Multiple times. Right. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes it's, it's possible because our IQs are just so high. Mm. That some people might not piece it together at, at the speed in which we have just done like it. Like Sonic. Right. I mean, we pieced this together like Sonic. We sure did. Ooh, man. Got and we did it fast. We, oh, the fastest. Just like him. Just in his honor. Right. And then... <laughs> uh, it's, um, of course, it's birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye. Amy may be hasty, but she is thorough. <laughs> the row. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm a detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh... Uh, just making sure things go... To, yeah. Uh, things aren't going great. Not sure if you've forgotten, but there was a murder. Uh, well, I mean, besides, besides that. The details. Besides murder? Ah, uh, my social skills. Non-existent! Nerdy protagonist, I'm telling you. There's some, there's They're all a little cringe fail, and they all have their all things. Fail. The they're first all... was stand-up comedy, and this guy, Microwave. <laughs> what, what is it about all these game companies and, like, making the protagonist cringe fail? It's so funny. It's so right? weird to me. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry! A resonant message from poet to reader, meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure. Uh... <laughs> tear, tear... oh, teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la. <laughs> dee 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 dee. Wow. <laughs> Tails is unimpressed. Mm. Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm satisfied for now, thanks. Uh, well, at least he's rhyming, I suppose. Maddie, Patty, and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. Uh, let me pull up a map here to give you a visual aid, right? Yes. Uh, when we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car. 
where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so we left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. This is true. We know this to be a fact. Yup. Where was Rouge? What happened to... What happened? Well, we happened to see her lipstick stain on a cuff at the saloon car. He's, he's revealing too many clues. He should have withheld that, see if they mentioned it. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! at the brochure stand over there. <laughs> <laughs> but she leapt back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. So interestingly, it's weird though, because Sonic, we found dead in the dining car, right? Yeah. But he's listed as being all the way over here throughout all of this. So at some point, he like crosses over. It's just an interesting like, why he Sonic- He had to go through a lot of cabins. Right, he, he went through literally everyone before he died over here. And you have to go through the saloon in order to get into the dining car. Right. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action that I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. Hashtag engrossed. Uh, I, guess, <laughs> I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car again, locking the doors behind him. Then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. So really, the fact that no one has brought up the fact that, like, I feel like Shadow, as the it's either Shadow or Rouge, right? Because they're the only two that have also been in the saloon car, and you have to go through the saloon car to get to where Sonic is murdered, presumably. Yeah. Right? It seems that way. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. We don't know anything about where Blaze has been, though. No, not yet. Uh, that's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm, with all these locked doors, it seems Vector and Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just going to peek around and we'll return with any questions. If, if you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I've got you covered too. Oh, thank goodness. Thanks, guys. Their alibis seem solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves that what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. All right, brochures thing was the first thing. Ooh, brochures! There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Ooh! Oh, hello. Patty Patty, look at this. There's a couple maps here. There seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it! <laughs> yeah, spicy. Library map added to the inventory. Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, there's the lactites. Nah, leave it. Oh, ha, ha. Uh, Yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. <laughs> uh, I share your fondness for caves. Hang in there. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. Huh? This little chow's hanging in there. Refusing to use his wings to fly to safety, because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this Chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. Wow. There is no way that there is much, that much thought put into this poster, right? That was beautiful. Trash can! This one's empty. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there! I hate to say it, but there's nothing there. Ah, uh, I really thought there'd be something there. Manny Patty, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. I do appreciate this. You, you really think so? Uh, yeah. We've just got to stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay. These trash bins hide a secret. I'm sure of it. Manny Patty, you're pretty unconventional. 
but I like that. You know, what, was that supposed to be a compliment? You know me, unconventional MatPat. Oh, here we go. Man. Chaos Cola. Check out the book club. Book of the month, Gone Gal. Oh, she gone gal. That's amazing. Oh, uh, that's amazing, gone gal. Uh, here, let's do the... Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling to clean up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone and do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Oh, interesting. That was weird. Really short. Okay, this one's going to be locked, presumably. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. Oh. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. There's got to be a... Re so is the door unlocked? Locked? Because that isn't a locked lock. I'm just saying. If he locked the door behind him. There's got to be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock is added to our inventory. Okay. Boop. Go over here before we talk to anyone. Woo! Oh, wow! Woo! Woo is also appropriate. Woo! Wow! Whoa! Wow! 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 Woo! Shimona! I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. All right, let's move on then. Well, I mean... A little peek wouldn't well, hurt. Well, you don't even care about Sonic, do you? He's scavenging through all the book's titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. Uh, that's odd. I know some books have fallen on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one. Oh, the Mirage Express Manual. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express. The train we're currently on. Oh my gosh, thank you for reminding me of that detail. It was on our tickets and everything. Oh no, my gosh, do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Uh, I was added to our inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio and find out what really happened. All right, well, wait, here's a, here's a book. Bonus book right here. Well, this one. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck! This reeks of the evil scientist Dr. Eggman, yeah, commonly it? recognizable by his horrible B.O. Right, I was gonna say, what does Dr. Eggman smell <laughs> like? smells of sweat and sulfur. Yeah, I was gonna say sulfur for sure. <laughs> yeah, right, Eggman kind of goes. <laughs> That's amazing. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. Oh man, Sonic has a recipe book now too. Them and FNAF. This is why I need to do all these on Food Theory. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. Fancy uh, a poem? Uh, can I get a poem? Ooh, I want a poem about space. I've made it up to space with my beloved antique vase, but a mistake in my haste dropped the vase from my embrace. So my antique I must now replace. It's a very deep and elaborate rhyme scheme you've got there. It's the classic A A A A A rhyme scheme. So that's that's deep. Look. What caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply. It is just a poem. <laughs> no, poems are the things you gotta read the deepest into. He hasn't thought it through, has he? Uh, all right, let's start some interrogation, shall we? Let's do it. Jacques! So the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining without examining the most examining <laughs> Examining <laughs> I am examination. Examin examining the validity of <laughs> I can't stop saying it. Maddie Patty and I are here to confirm two things. One, why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and two, if Espio was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We've prepared to present evidence if need- Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Uh, uh. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. I mean, that's very obvious. Vector <laughs> and a library do not mix. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine and the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading. 
But were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was! Huh? Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't know you that, detective. Let the man live. <laughs> <laughs> Let him live his life, man. Yeah, let him live. <laughs> He's reading some, like, uh, chameleon playboy or something. <laughs> he was on, like, some fanfiction site the yeah, entire right, time. I was gonna... <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't judge his tastes. A man's got needs, okay? <laughs> no, come on. Chameleon's got needs. <laughs> gotta, gotta strike up his poet's fancy, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, uh, for sure. What if it was embarrassing? <laughs> what kind of things do you think I read? Fan fiction, Espio. Yeah, oh, oh, Espio's all about that fan fiction. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, he, he's gone into some weird corners oh, of the um, internet. <laughs> inflation fan fiction. <laughs> That's Espio. Inflation fan fiction. <laughs> Just calling it like I see it. Oh, and you know what? Fair. <laughs> That's, that's my detective skills talking yeah, right yeah. there. The, the energy of Maddie Patty is literally going in. It's, yeah, it's yeah, surging. You can there. feel it. Yeah, I, I know it. If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what that book might be. Maddie Patty, could you help me out? Uh, I will not respond. All right, Maddie Patty, what book do we think SBO may have been reading? My the Immortal. <laughs> what? My Immortal by Tara Gillespie. <laughs> Oh, that's incredible. You were reading the train map, the library map. Shadows lock. Mm. Mirage Express manual. That's weird, SVO. That is weird. Remember a map of the layout of the library, shelves and tables included. <laughs> I mean, the only book that I can point to <laughs> is this one. Yeah. A manual? Think SVO was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Think! Oh man, here we go. Love it. Whoop, I, I fell. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> Damn it! I may have choked. <laughs> You're above the grasping, I knew it! We got this, Maddie Patty. Let's try again. Okay, yeah, let's try again. My bad. My bad, guys. Here we go. The music in this game is such a... It's, it's so boppy. Right, it's really good. Oh, poop. oh shoot! Oh, damn it. Oh, no! I'm, I'm choking. Okay, hold up. We got this. Let's try again. Okay. I don't know why I'm trying to play this one-handed. Okay, here we go. Oh, hello. What's that mean? Oh, okay. I understand what this means now. No, how Ooh. dare you. Oh man, getting intense. Woo. Who knew that detective work was so intense? Wow, there we go. Got it. Nailed ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. it. Woo. Idea, get. Ba -ding. Ba -da -ba -ba. There are books scattered around the floor, sure. But the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone at the very least picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. Oh. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, Espio. Hey, now, I won't have you insulting my pal like this. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That was actually the premise of the fanfiction. Yeah, <laughs> a butcher and a poet meet in a field somewhere. It's an AU. That's it. This is great. Yeah. Honestly, this is the story that all of us wanted. Exactly. Uh, this is the plot of Sonic the Hedgehog 3, the movie. Oh, yeah. Can right. you imagine if instead of revealing Shadow the Hedgehog as part of Sonic the Hedgehog, it was like, there's like a random Espio and Vector, like, <laughs> And credit scene, everyone's like, what? <laughs> Even the Sonic fans are like, well, who are they? And it's like, guys, uh, clearly it's Vector and Espio, come on. Espio's writing poetry in a deli. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be awesome. Please let that be an Easter egg in the new movie. Oh. Like, life is pain, I'm Shadow the Hedgehog. And then you like cut to an interior of a deli. Espio just writes, it's, like, it's a like, it's a reference to an Easter egg in a, in a fan-made official spin-off game. Like, the layers of, of depth that are uh, inherent in that sort of Easter egg would be incredible. Yeah. It's like five layers of meta deep at that point. Yeah. That's the it's best. It's like, you know. This is why we need to be on that creative team. 
Yeah, no, I agree. I was trying to make a silly little um, joke about like tenderizing me and like the tenderness of the heart, but every way I phrased it just sounded so, so wrong. I mean, sometimes you beat your meat and it touches your heart. <laughs> Matthew Patrick, 2023. <laughs> SPO Invector. <laughs> that's that's one of those quotes that'll live with me for a while. Yeah. Yes. I mean that poem, it had meat to it, you know? It did, yeah, it had yeah, real meat. Real meaty. Yeah, real, real beefy. Yeah. Real beefy quote mm. there. All right, butchered poet friends can form anywhere. Ah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> that is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. <laughs> awesome. What a great line. <laughs> In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Maddie Patty, if you don't mind. Uh. Could you ask yeah, sure. S <laughs> oh, I guess that's me being like, okay. <laughs> Distress sounds. Yeah, I'm pumping uh. all the arteries in uh. my neck right now. Could you ask SBO some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. <laughs> what a random arbitrary. Uh, did you did you memorize this thing that you might have been casually reading? Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove that he read it. Which page? Like the the first couple pages, I guess. What page? Oh, uh, page three sixty two. Like, how about page fourteen? Uh, okay. Um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Oh, robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. Though, I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. So See? Eating the rich. Wow. There it is again. Or not, not eating the rich, but like, <laughs> you know, commentary on social economic yeah, status. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring the passenger safety. Oh man, that's why the robots did it this whole time, because when the train crashed, maybe there was something that it should have sensed and it didn't, mm. so it turned the other way. Mm. Seems like SBO is that question. Manny Patty, hit him with another one. Really? I feel like we've done, oh, okay. Which page should I choose? Uh, oh, wow. Page 15. What is the Mirage Express's canceling? This, this is gameplay, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sonic gameplay in 2023. If you've what, I don't know why everyone memes on this uh, this franchise so hard. I don't know why people are so bad about the current, you know, down on the current state of Sonic the Hedgehog. When gameplay is me asking fan favorite characters about the cancellation policies of an AU based uh, train courtesy car, like. I don't see what the, I, don't, I, I see no problem here. No refunds, and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you are over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Deep insights with Maddie Patty. Last one, Maddie Patty. Let's see if Espio can get three for three. She's gotcha. Which page should I pick last? Page 16. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? Yes. <laughs> totally. It's wild you were able to retain all this information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if you'd, I'd be bragging about that. You've clearly read the manual, or at least through page 16. Right. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. I should have asked him about page 365 or whatever. Well, I think it was smart to do the early pages because if you didn't make enough progress. Well, but I think that's the point, right? Yeah. Like, I think the trick there was if I had chosen the deep, like page 100 and 300, it would have been like, I don't have time to read that. Like, I think yeah. that was the challenge there, Right. I guess. Logic. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, and you both have the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want, don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit though, reading it the entire time a murder has occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. No, no. I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate despite being the truth. Well, 
You definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can... Espia, was that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem. Frankly, I don't believe that could be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Maddie Patty? <gasps> he always puts me on the spot. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Maddie Patty, think. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw Espio reading. But what? I mean, technically it's the lock, right? Because Shadow's been placing locks around. So Shadow went through the room and would have seen him. Or also Rouge probably would have seen him reading Oh yeah, she would have well. passed through. Mm. Like, because she passed through? So like... I think Shadow's lock is like the one that shows it the most. Shadow's lock? Please pray tell what this has to do with anything. We're up, Maddie Patty. Let's get our argument together. All right, think. Activate thinking. Think. Oh man, here we go. For the yeah, viewers at home. I like that there's a little um, chow picture in the background that says, shh. As if to imply to focus and to not get distracted. Right, don't get distracted. By any figments of your imagination who are talking. Right, I was going to say, you're not, you're not distracting me at all. This is great. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look, look, this, is, this, is intense, this is intense platforming right here. There We're we thinking. Go. And thinking is an intense activity. Oh, this, is, this is what Arr. goes through my brain as I think, actually. Here we go. Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. Wasn't the high score for long. Crocs. Natural gamers. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. <gasps> We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Oh! I, I mean, it was a simple slip up. I, I was just, I, I was fully immersed in my book and I, I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Uh, uh, uh. Well, well, you, you, you see, um... I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? Ooh. But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. There are multiple exits. It's a mystery, my dear, my, my dear Maddie Patty. <laughs> One that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back to the library car, honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Oh. And then hold my shoulder so and, tenderly. And then, and uh, that, oh, then our that faces butcher. got really close together and, and we might have kissed a little bit. I, I, I and, just ignored, you know, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, it's, it's hard to pull my attention yeah, away from, yeah, from we were, that. We were just um, distracted uh, all the time. Yeah, yeah don't, don't worry about that, though. Yeah, I, I think I remember doing that. All, all that stuff. Totally not SBO's fantasy or anything. Yeah, I'm totally fine. No. Okay. I must avenge <laughs> my friend's death. So I'll ask you again, SBO. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? Was Espio simply sitting reading? Or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Ooh. 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 Are you gonna are you gonna join the lovers? Or defend your buddy who has betrayal issues? He does have betrayal issues. Yeah. I'm gonna. Well, here's the thing. Vector was unsure when he's like i i think i remember doing that but he's not sure right mm. what do you think ash i mean i always want you on my team but i understand i mean it is possible to be very absorbed in a book i will say that I, that is true like i don't i'm not surprised that he wouldn't notice like shadow the hedgehog going through but unless Espio is lying to cover someone's tracks, because right. we still have Rouge unaccounted right. for. Right. See, that's the thing. I that's the big point that no one's bringing up here. That I'm like, oh, that's the huge open 
flag, the big red flag here is that Rouge was here the entire time and would have seen him reading as well. So I think we got joint tales. Maybe it wasn't uh, an AU fanfic between Espio and Vector. Maybe it's <gasps> Espio and Rouge. <gasps> was she? But wait. But where? What's her role in this? Oh. Maybe the poet and the butcher were together, but, but then, then one day. A bat walked into the, oh, the deli. <laughs> Sounds like a bad joke. <laughs> a bat walked into the so deli. So a croc, a chameleon are making out, and then a bat <laughs> walks into the bar. <laughs> Stop me if you've heard this one. Stop me if you've heard this one, guys. It's, cl it's a classic joke. I'm I love Tales. this love triangle. Oh, no, I can't interrupt Tails when he's onto something. I'll let him continue this line of questioning. Oh, and. <laughs> Matty Patty. Matty Patty, my favorite and beloved employee, please protect the passengers aboard this train. They must be taken care of. Oh my gosh. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous. Don't allow such an old, feeble soul to get sued. Sweat. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Oh, apparently not. Apparently that was the wrong choice. Tails! D we have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. All right, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? The library map? Like, an overhead map of the library. Oh, is this what it is? Couldn't have seen each other? Like, that he was sitting in a corner, like he was sitting back here maybe behind a shelf? Is, oh. that, what we're, is that what we're going for? And he was hidden. Because it's not the train map. Right, because that Cause doesn't that shows prove that, yeah, anything. Doesn't prove anything. It has to be the library. It's got to be the library map, yeah. yeah. This one. All right, now let's get my thoughts in order. Oh, think. think. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go collect some rings. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, going to get that Chaos Emerald before you know it. Oh, ow. Oh, shoot. Maybe not. May have spoken too soon. Okay, here we go. I love how random these are. This is so... Oh, shoot. Oh, no! Whew. Woo! Got him. Oh, my gosh. This is intense. These are, these, are, these are getting intense. It's getting harder and harder. Like, they're throwing a lot, of, uh, a lot of flying stars at me. A lot of throwing stars. The library map? Oh. Oh! I see! See the exits? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you'll have to point out where exactly in the map you mean. <laughs> okay, sure. Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? Uh, here? Like, here-ish? Because he's hidden behind this shelf, I guess? Like, here's the thing. It's hard to tell if that's a shelf or like, like when I think of a library, I feel like that's like one of those just like chest high shelves yeah. or like low shelves. Because <laughs> he was like curled up in a little ball, like right. gremlin mode in his book. <laughs> He's doing goblin mode. <laughs> Here. Interesting. Oh, that's you. Sorry. <laughs> I, thought wow. ju I, just, I just saw vector move and I'm like, oh, it's a vector. Ah. No, I get it. I thought it was vector verse two. Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. Oh, sure. Yeah. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, SBO was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth, but I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. Man, nothing like verbal harassment to really c cement the friendship together. Aw, Tails. Of these characters, huh? Isn't it great? We, we did it! Another pair of alibis validated! Validation gets! Woo! Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Oh, seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. 
See you later, Vector and Espio. Give a mech, and if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. <laughs> It'll touch your heart. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose, while doors keep getting locked. Tick, tick, tock goes the clock, while our heroes are in the caboose. Wow. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective <laughs> abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Maddie Patty. Let's see what's next. Coming. All right, and with that, we enter the back. You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? Okay, calm down there, Taylor. Like a <laughs> second ago, you're like, let go. And now you're like, let's not. So you you slow your roll there, Tails. I'm getting very mixed signals from you. <laughs> the mystery calls, man. Okay, the investigation continues. <laughs> Tails, I'm, I'm worried about your emotional regulation right now. <laughs> well, you know, I think he was, after SBO was reading all that fic. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, this is nice. Casino car. Casino night car. I like that the train is gambling. Maybe that's why the train murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Has to make up for its gambling debts. He had it coming. The, the, the train is like, I'm, I'm like $500 in the hole with the caboose right now. Like, I got, I got, I got to make it up somehow. His life insurance will cover it. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's it. I like how the chow has a mustache. It's, it's, it's true. It's the bouncer chow. <laughs> I love it. I didn't raise a bouncer chow in Battle Network or Battle 2. Uh, okay, real quick, let's. I think we're in a good stopping point, so let's just get through this like intro, and then we can we can go into it. All this, yeah. Right. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you've brought the Microwave Master with you. The Microwave Master! Hey! That, that feels like an appropriate title for me. Yeah. Aw, uh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Uh... I forgot. Oh, what was my Blaze voice? I forget. I, I <laughs> like, honestly don't know. Right, I, right on, uh... Tell him, Rouge. <laughs> Tell him, Rouge. <laughs> Tell him, Rouge. We're going to need the help. Blaze? All right, I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. T treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell them what it is, Rouge. All right, well, it's a... Fabergé. Fabergé chow egg. Ooh, Fabergé eggs are really nice. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find the egg. A woman can have multiple goals. <laughs> I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. Yeah, friendship. Friendship is efficiency. I contain multitudes. <laughs> <laughs> I am mighty. <laughs> she roped me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduce that the Fabergé Chow egg is here, in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? Is it actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? Well, here we go. I found the train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written right on it. <laughs> the score great. of a lifetime. It's not, it's not great. It's not a real great security system. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh, uh, uh. Finders keeper, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room the holding elevator. the Fabergé. The elevator in the train? Yeah, the, yeah man. The, the elevator in the train. This train was built for events. Wow. Which we missed during our last um, thing. And I, like a, a big part of talking about these social issues is realizing where we were wrong. Accepting that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's growing. True. It's true. Um, but in any case. Yeah, I, I, I clearly... I have not ascended to a status in my life where I'm able to understand trains that have actual working elevators. Yeah, and to... if you were in the elevator, maybe you would actually ascend to that yeah, Honestly, <laughs> I, I've been in multiple train cars that have two levels and I've walked the stairs like a schmo, but well, uh, never have I been in one with an elevator. So. Well, accessibility, you know? Yeah, right. 
The rich don't have needs for accessibility. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right to the room holding the Fabergé egg, but we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator. And our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the Fabergé chow egg? Please, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, uh, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Or she's just horrible. Lore! Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Or she doesn't understand the rules because, again, she's royalty. Yeah. She's above the law, as it were. So she's like, why would I have the stealing? Yeah. Of, of course royalty should possess the really expensive objects. Durr. I mean, have you seen the, the diamonds at the Tower of London? Come on. They have a lot of them. Oh, from a lot of places that weren't oh, theirs. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's really bad. It's real bad. It's really bad. It's real bad. <laughs> so you're like, oh, man. Like, uh, uh oh, spaghettios. Oh, oh, you just went around and took all the biggest shiny objects you could find. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Okay. Maddie Patty, do you have an opinion on this? <laughs> uh, stealing is for squares. It's time for a five-finger discount. I mean, I, I feel like they shouldn't be stealing, but... We kind of have to agree with them to win the game, to right? To accelerate the plot. Right? Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Maddie Patty are in, are y'all peer pressuring Tails? I think we are. Okay, let's get that Fabergé chow egg. Let's crime! Crime! <laughs> That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now, we must plan. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh boy, what have we got ourselves into? Access to the Fabergé Chow Egg Room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has access has the access card, so I guess he would have access to the access card. <laughs> right, that would yes, make access total to the access sense, card, and that's written on this board. Right. Do we? Oh man, bribe attacker strategy. Okay, this has gone on more significantly than I expected yeah, it to. Yeah, no, this picked up really quick. I'm like, oh, they're gonna just dump us into investigating, but no, it's like, oh, there's decisions and stuff happening here. So I think we save it. Okay. And we'll return. We'll, we'll return next time. Bye. Patty okay. Library. So with that, we're going to quit. All right, so that's chapter two. We should be able to finish this in one more, right? Oh, yeah. Right? I think at this point, we have made enough progress where we could wrap this up in episode three. Excellent. Okay. So, predictions? Mm, you know, it's, it's, it could have been... I have my eyes on the conductor. I still I still think it's the conductor and the I train. I think it's the conductor. I, I think it's the train and or the conductor working in cahoots. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's always the one that you least suspect, or it's always the one that's like off to the sidelines and isn't like a direct suspect. It's like, oh, the twist. Yeah. Yeah. That's my prediction. So we'll find out next time, friendos. So tune in as we continue our little visual novel mystery adventure with the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Maybe one day we should do like a Professor Layton game or like <gasps> Phoenix Wright or something. Oh my God, Matt. I would cry tears of joy. Yeah. I uh, you would hear me sobbing in the background if we ever played Phoenix Wright or Professor Layton. Wow. Wow. Sobbing tears of joy. Yeah, I, I would. All right. Maybe maybe we'll do one in the future for for Ash. I've always wanted to play uh, Professor Layton games. I've never gotten a chance to. So it's you a would big, dig. Big excuse. I, I feel like you would dig. Alley. Yes. All right. Cool. Well, tune in next time. Can we solve the mystery and put the perpetrator to rest? We'll find out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. Goodbye!